Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on in this undisclosed swamp. I am Sam Mitchell and this is Collapse Chronicles and it is a gorgeous Monday Monday in the collapse of global industrial civilization. That would be Monday uh, January 18th, 2021, which of course is uh, Blue Monday. This is Blue Monday officially recognized as the most depressing day of the year. And so I don't know whether uh, that has anything to do with this uh, somewhat egg on my face uh, not a rant, just an explanation. Now, I do have to warn you, uh, I, I am, I'm going to have to break my New Year's resolution once again and mention the C word. Uh, but anyway, for, you know, I have been thinking recently uh, by, I hate to use the word popular demand on this channel, but you know, I've, I've been thinking about bringing uh, my interviews back onto this channel that I was going to start uh, interviewing, you know, fellow collapsitarians and doomers and whatnot uh, starting in two weeks. And I actually had one interview and I think about eight or nine lined up and... Uh, was, you know, somewhat ready to go with it, uh, but guys, for, for various reasons, I have uh, decided reluctantly, I guess, to kill the interviews. There will, I will not be starting uh, my interviews for the foreseeable future. Who knows? Maybe six months from now, I will crank back up. But uh, there, there, there's all sorts of reasons for this. But I'm just going to list the top four. And so uh, this, I'm giving you a c-word warning. And of course, the the first reason is that the reason I stopped having my interviews uh, when was it? Right around the first of June last year was because of the biggest distraction in the history of the human race and that of course is the corona panic and i announced that as long as the, you know the number one story on this planet is the distraction uh, of how many humans are dying uh, of corona panic uh, I, I was just, I, I, I wasn't going to waste my time trying to have an intelligent discussion uh, about the single biggest uh, story in the history of humanity, which is the collapse of a planet. And so that's why, uh, that's why uh, I haven't had any interviews, but then I started backpedaling like I, like I tend to do, and so uh, I had my first interview last week, and I think it was the very next day, the number one story on the planet, uh, as you remember, uh, is that, let me try to remember this exactly, the number one story on the planet is that zero point zero two six percent of humans have died from corona panic which is another way of saying ninety nine point nine two four percent of humans on the planet have not died of corona panic uh, but the editors all over the world chose to make this the number one story on the planet. And then, of course, guys, you know, we have the distraction to the distraction, distracting us from the distraction. And uh, so anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going back 
uh, to my original statement as long as how many humans are dying of corona panic on this planet, which should barely be a blip on the news feed uh, compared to what's coming down this pike. Uh, I, I'm sticking to my original statement I made that obviously people have no interest in, in uh, hearing what folks have to say about the single biggest story uh, in the history of humanity. They want to talk about how many people are dying of corona panic. So that's the number one reason. Okay, the number two reason which does tie in to Blue Monday. Now, I, I try not to talk about my own teeny-weeny little personal problems on this channel. You can find other places on the internet if you want to hear me whining about my teeny-weeny little personal problems, but uh, I... Uh, I am in the middle of one of the deepest, darkest uh, personal depressions that, that I've been in uh, in my entire life. I barely have the energy to get up out of bed each morning and, and do what I do here on YouTube. I have no idea uh, where I am finding this energy to do this. I don't even know how much longer I'm going to have the energy to keep doing what I do. I simply am too depressed to, uh, to be adding this, this workload, uh, which, which ties in to the next reason. And, and that is, uh, you know, the, the people I'm I'm, I'm interviewing nearly all of whom are the old white man chronicles besides the problem that it, like like everybody I'm interviewing are old white men uh, you know basically my my interviews fall into two camps and, and, and those are camp number one are the doomers the people who agree with me that we are completely doomed there is nothing uh, we can do to turn this freight train around. Uh, this country, uh, this civilization, this species, every earthling we share this planet with, uh, and this planet, we are doomed. We are going to hell in a handbasket, and there's not a damn thing that anybody anywhere on this planet, uh, from, your, from your little individual consumer and lifestyle choices, with the one asterisk that I always put in there, uh, is, is, is breeding. Uh, the only thing you can do from this point forward is not breed, uh, but I'm not getting down that rabbit hole uh, right now. Uh, so it's the is it's these people who understand as I do uh, on a cellular level how doomed we are, and the only thing left from this point forward. Uh, after you've made the decision not to breed or you're too old to breed or whatever, uh, is to figure out how to spend the rest of your life, uh, you know, on that your days on this planet uh, and getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. So I have, I have that group uh, in, 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 you know, group number one, and, and, and I'm just like, how many ways can we say we are so doomed, or W-A-S-F? Uh, you know, it's just like, it's pointless just to have the same conversation over and over and over again. That, that we're doomed and there's not a damn thing any one of us can do about it, so we might as well uh, get out there and enjoy it while we still can. So, uh, and, and the other group is what I call these hopium-soaked apocaloptimists who do understand that we are doomed. An apocaloptimist is somebody who understands 
how doomed we are, but, uh, but thinks it's all going to turn out okay anyway. And, and, you know, and, and, and spouting out all of this crap out of their mouths uh, about how the damn Green New Deal and uh, clean green technology and uh, how we're going to suck this stuff out of the air and, and vacuum uh, this shit out of the oceans, uh, you know, spouting out this, uh, this BS uh, apocalyptic hopium. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fed up with it, and, and I'm not at all sure uh, that I want to use my channel uh, to keep spreading uh, these big green lies. I, I you know, if, if uh, I, I tried to use the excuse uh, the first two years, you know, talking to these people that uh, I, I tried to rationalize it that where I, I just wanted to, uh, you know, to open this subject up to debate and hear all sides of it. But, but I'm not at all sure I want to hear that side of it anymore. You know, I'm sick and tired of clueless morons talking this crap. All right, we have Grandpa and the two kids, not one mask between them. All right, we have about six people now out here fishing on this beautiful day. Not one mask in sight. And so anyway, but there is a fourth reason. And uh, so I want to send out a big thank you for my uh, my colleague down here in the Doomosphere, this uh, fellow named Michael Dowd. Uh if you're not familiar with Michael Dowd, go, I'm not talking, I think there's some athlete or somebody, I'm talking about the Doomer, uh, Michael Dowd. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've known about Michael for a, a couple of years, and, uh, and I've enjoyed his stuff, you know, we've talked ourselves, and, uh, but I've, I've never really been sure who this guy is. And so he was one of the people that I was going to interview. And so I said, well, all right, uh, Sam, if you're, if you're going to bring Michael on the show, you really need to go over to his YouTube channel and, uh, and start looking into it. Well, Michael, uh, Michael Dowd, uh, he does what I do. He interviews all of these various doomers and apocalyptists and everything. Uh, uh, so anyway, I go over, go over on his channel and I'm going through his interviews and I'm going, good Lord, uh, th th this man, uh, you know, why do I need to be doing this when we have Michael Dowd out there doing it for me? Uh, and, and then I'm looking at some of the people he's interviewed. Here is Jim Bendel. Jim Bendel, uh, Jim Bendel, when I invited him to be interviewed on Collapse Chronicles, first he told me yes, then he backs out of the deal and says, no, I'm not going to let you interview me because I'm not, I'm not giving interviews to anybody. Then he shows up on Michael Dowd's channel. Here is Dar Jamal. I invited Dar Jamal to be interviewed on Collapse Chronicles. Wrote me back. Ain't gonna happen, Sam. Richard Heinberg. I wanted to interview Richard Heinberg. No, Richard Heinberg had no desire to be interviewed by me, but he had no problem talking to Michael Dowd. Joanna Macy uh, is somebody who, uh, you know, I invited to be interviewed. Uh, I think it was Carolyn Baker has suggested I need to interview Joanna Macy. Joanna Macy has no interest in being interviewed by Sam Mitchell. She's happy to talk to Michael Dad. How about Catherine Ingram? Catherine Ingram, uh, it, uh, well, I won't even go into my history with Catherine Ingram, but, but it's safe to say that Catherine Ingram declined my interview, you know, my invitation to interview her, but she had no problem talking to Michael Dowd. 
Paul Beckwith. Now, here's a guy, uh, Paul Beckwith. Uh, if you wonder why Paul Beckwith uh, has never been uh, interviewed on Collapse Chronicles, it's because Paul Beckwith has nothing to say to me. Okay, uh, but he's had no problem talking to uh, Michael Dowd, uh, Paul Chaferka. Uh, uh, great guy. Uh, go listen to his interview uh, on Michael Dowd's uh, channel because you're not going to hear it on Collapse Chronicles because Paul Chaferka told me uh, three years ago. Uh, Sam, I no longer do interviews. I don't want to talk about how doomed we are. He had no problem talking to Michael Dowd. Now, Roger Hallam, I can't remember. I think I was just getting ready to uh, send an invitation to Roger Hallam uh, when I decided uh, to stop doing the interviews. But anyway, this list goes long on, on and on. And most of the list is, is, is people that I have interviewed, uh, like like 50 people I've interviewed. But anyway, uh, I am I am officially handing over the uh, Collapse Chronicles interview baton over to my buddy Michael Dowd. So uh, as I told Michael last night, uh, in, in all honesty, uh, I, I said, brother. Uh, I said, all kidding aside, I said, you have saved me a boatload of work, and I really, really appreciate it. And I really do. I want to thank Michael Dowd for saving me a boatload of work. And since we have Michael out there doing the same thing that, uh, that uh, I'm doing anyway, go listen to Michael Dowd. So anyway, because you're not going to be hearing any interviews over here, uh, at least until uh, the distraction to the distraction and the distraction itself blows over. But by the time it does, you know, we're probably going to have some other distraction like some space alien invasion or something. Uh, and everyone will be talking about how the Martians are coming to kill us all, uh, you know. Something is coming to kill us all, but uh, anyway, so anybody, so Andy the gardener, uh, you're off the hook. I, you know, I finally had Andy the gardener agree to being interviewed. Uh, so Andy, you can come out of hiding. Uh, <laughs> I will not be interviewing uh, Andy the gardener on Collapse Chronicles. So come on out, Andy. It's it's safe to come back in the pool. You don't have to hide from me anymore, brother. Anyway, guys, I got to uh, wrap this up and come up with today's uh, regularly scheduled chronicle of the collapse. But uh, I need to answer the call of nature and give this little dog a walk. So that'll have to happen a little bit later. Bye, guys. Don't forget to go over to Michael Dowd's channel and hear all the interviews with Doomers all all sides of the fence while you still can. Bye, guys.